fall day in Ohio, and this is my 2020 4.5 KTM 450 Factory Edition. Man, I'll tell you what, I haven't been on this bike for about two weeks. I've been riding my Honda 250 450 R's, the 25s, and it's always fun to get back on the KTM. It's got about 15 hours on it now. There are so many good things about this bike, but number one, this engine, 60 horsepower, has never been this easy to ride. Kropovich slip-on with a Sparger Rester, it's like as loud as a Sear F100. It's awesome to be on the bike and you can hear yourself think. I put my favorite set of cone valve forks. This is the older kind. It's got the black coatings and everything. Super plush Brad at Rideworks. He redid my stock rear shock. Put a bladder, revalved it. This shock is better than my Pro Shock, I think. I like this shock a ton. Wow, I get a better check my oil drain there. I see a little oil. Uh, it's got 15 hours on it, runs strong. It's still breaking in, literally. KTMs take a while. This chassis, the new chassis with the more compliant frame, definitely feel it, definitely feel it. My son has the 23, we ride them back to back all the time. You can notice that. I like the uh, upgraded uh, rotors on the works or the uh, uh, factory edition here i like the seat i like the graphics the cuo this thing's fantastic i put uh i think today because it's kind of soft and ruddy i'm running sand dry with most aggressive throttle and least engine braking so it really frees it up i also put a set of pro taper race or no these are husky man Hus the pro taper bars they just have a little bit more flex and give and I like that feel of them and the power on these bikes is so easy fourth gear wheelie no problem and the stock suspension's good Brad makes this rear shock like perfect and I love the, the set of spring cone valve forks I've had them for quite a few years and I just move them from 450 to 450 and they work. Four or nine springs in them. My rear shocks got the stock four or five spring. I'm 6'2, 190 pounds, slow vet guy. Jeremy has the mega track going today, so that's his A track connected to the C track. It is perfect conditions, perfect conditions for fast guys, soft and rutted. Not so perfect for me, but let's just take a lap and have some fun. This is... into this new jump here yet but here's where we jump on the sea track and we go back here in this little soft section and he's got some deep ruts on the inside This adds some nice distance to the to the main track. Oh, these soft inside roads. The power on these 450s, these factory editions, and I think the 25, any of the 450 SXFs are so smooth and predictable. I really like the way it feels. Take the there's two lanes here. Whoa. We'll take the outside lane or the inside for here. But it is slick. We've got MX34s, which are my favorite kind of the Dunlops. Now is a New little section here. Kind of changes it up. You got to jump right out of the corner. Then another one. And then you got the big old hill. A fun table. 
This has been a little tricky going into this corner. Early in the sessions, it's a little soft. The KTM just builds power so smooth. Easy to control, find traction. And we got the big foot jump. Soft. Find a rut. Oh. Mega track. This is so much fun. I'll tell you. 450 Factory Edition. This bike is good. I think about that overall combination of just like this thing has such this new chassis, such a good combination of cornering and stability. It is playful in the corners. It is still stable and gives a vet slow guy like me a lot of confidence and I feel comfortable. And uh, the power is so smooth. I wish it had less vibration. My Honda 25 CRF 450 definitely vibrates less. This one builds power a little slower than the Honda, but it's super easy to ride. I don't pump out. I don't really pump out at all riding this thing. It's so much, it's just got that linear power and it just keeps building, building, building. And with the CUO, when you turn engine braking down, it just frees the bike up. So Brad did an amazing job with the rear shock because I've been in dry, hard packed woods everywhere. It just is a really good setting. My favorite cone valve forks work good too. So anyhow, it's two thumbs up, 24.5. KTM 450 Factory Edition on a beautiful day in Ohio at Briarcliff MX on the Mega Track.